Arizona Congressman Gabrielle Giffords is one of at least 10 members of Democratic leaders, uh, excuse me, who Democratic leaders say have been targeted because of their vote on health care. And she joins us this morning from Washington. Congresswoman, I guess my first question is, what happened to your office in Tucson? And do you have any doubt that this is a direct result of your vote on health care? Well, obviously, we weren't there. The office closed after the health care vote, and sometime between midnight and 2 a.m., we were alerted that the front door of our office, which is a glass panel door, had been either kicked out, shot out, or just basically destroyed. Whether or not it was a direct effect, obviously, we weren't there. The police are investigating, there are federal authorities investigating, but obviously, the coincidence of this happening is... Um, it's fairly likely, but obviously we don't know at this point. Are you afraid? Are you fearful today? You know, I'm, I'm not. Um, we've had hundreds and hundreds of protesters over the course of the last several months. Our office corner has really become an area where the Tea Party movement congregates, and the rhetoric is incredibly heated. Not just the calls, but the emails, the, 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 the slurs. Uh, so. I mean, things have really gotten spun up. I mean, we've got to think about it. Our democracy is a light, a beacon, really, around the world because we affect change at the ballot box and not because of these, you know, outbursts of, of violence in certain cases and, this, and the yelling and the, you know, it's just, you know, change is, is important. It's a part of our process, but it's really important that we focus on the fact that we have a democratic process. Do you think Republican members of the House, the Republican leadership, should have spoken out more forcefully to denounce this violence, or are you satisfied with what they've said? For example, the minority leader, John Boehner, was on Fox News denouncing violence. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for all leaders, not just leaders of the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. There's certainly a lot of independents out there that they may not even not resonate towards, but community leaders, figures in our community to say, look, this, we can't stand for this. I mean, th this is a situation where I mean, people don't, I mean, they really need to realize that the rhetoric and firing people up and, you know, even things, for example, we're on Sarah Palin's targeted list, but the thing is that the way that she has it depicted has the crosshairs of a gun site over our district. And when people do that, they've got to realize there's consequences to that action. Well, but in, in fairness, the uh, campaign rhetoric and war rhetoric have been interchangeable for years. Mm -hmm. And so that's, is there not, I mean, is there a line here? I mean, I, I understand, you know, in the moment it may look bad, but, you know, is that, do you really think that's what she intended? I, you know, I can't say. I'm not Sarah Palin. But what I can say is that in the years that some of my colleagues have served, 20, 30 years, they've never seen it like this. We have to work out our problems by negotiating, working together, hopefully Democrats and Republicans. I understand that this health care bill is incredibly personal, probably the most significant vote cast here for, for, for decades, frankly. But the reality is that we've got to focus on the policy, focus on the process, but leaders, community leaders, not just political leaders, need to stand back when things get too fired up and say, whoa, let's, let's, let's take a step back here. And on the flip side, you know, some on the other side of the aisle have suggested that maybe in some ways Democrats are reaching out to highlight uh, these instances of violence because they want to make it seem like, you know, that's who the Republican Party is. This crazy, violent wing of the Republic Republican Party represents the norm. Um, are you concerned that Democrats may be using this as a political opportunity? Well, I don't think about it that way. I mean, you know, that's certainly not what we're doing. Um, Republicans in my area, and I have a very mixed district, um, really, it, we have to, we have, we're fortunate to have a pretty balanced community. But the reality is, when you look at these examples around the country, which really try to incite people and inflame emotions, then you know, chances are they're going to have a couple people, extremes on both sides, frankly, not just on the Republican side, but we have seen Democratic extreme activism as well. I mean, most of the country is in the middle. But we do have, you know, parallel, these, these polarized right. parts of our parties that really get excited. And that's where, again, community leaders, not just, you know, the, the political leaders, but all of us have to come together and say, okay, you know, there, there's a fine line here. All right, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords from Southern Arizona. Yeah, a great part of the state. Probably great. one of the most perfectly balanced swing districts in the country. Yeah. It's a unique the district. district there. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> Thank Thanks for coming so on much. this morning. Thank you for having me.